This compact device here turns your iPhone into a professional monitor for your camera. Not only that, it also has a killer feature that no one is talking about. Let's see what it does. This is the Axun Simo, and it's an HDMI to iOS adapter. When Axun first sent me this, I thought it would be an interesting product, but I didn't think it would be all that useful for my work. And even though I do use a monitor for self-filming in studio, I already have a dedicated monitor for this purpose. But it turns out this device has so much more to offer and I ended up really really happy with this SEMO here. First let me show you how to rig this to the camera. So grab your camera and then you can just slide the SEMO on top of it and using the friction mount, you can lock it onto the hot shoe and pull this mount open until it clicks and then you can put your phone right on there. It's gonna close automatically. Slap a Sony NPF battery on and turn on the CMO. And last step is to turn on your camera, open the CMO app and click monitor. And as you can see, it just works like that. This is perfect for a running gun and it's so much smaller than having a traditional monitor. And because it utilizes your phone as the screen, it doesn't really take up any additional space. Now let me tell you a little bit more about the app here. The app for this device is called Axun C. Now this app is where all the magic happens, as it turns your iPhone into a full-blown professional monitor with pretty much all the function that you can ever think of. From basics like focus peaking, histogram, zebra, and waveform, to even some that you could usually only find on high-end monitors like LUT preview, false color, and even anamorphic squeezing. I'm not going to go into too much details here, but feel free to check out Axon's website from the link below to see the full list of features. Now to the elephants of the room. You can record this HDMI feed directly onto your iPhone. This is such an underrated feature as everyone's just been talking about how you can use your iPhone as a monitor. And it's not a low quality compressed screen capture like how Snapchat takes video from your iPhone. With the CMO, you get a proper clean feed from the camera's HDMI, just like a proper recorder. Even though it's only 8-bit 1080p, the quality is not bad, as you're seeing right now. I can see so much potential with this feature. Think about it. You're a content creator, influencer, or anyone who posts video content to social media like Instagram Reel. You like using big camera, but you find the workflow too inconvenient. Well, the CMO offers an easy solution here. With this little thing here, you can record professional quality video from your big camera with all the additional benefits like having a microphone jack and advanced autofocus. The workflow goes from turn on your camera, start recording, start recording, take out the SD card, import the footage onto your computer, trim and edit the clip, export, airdropping to your iPhone and finally posting on Instagram, to turn on your camera, press record on the app, stop recording, and posting on Instagram directly. Tell me that's not game changing. This is probably the dream workflow for many as it combines the picture quality of a mirrorless camera and the usability to view and share a clip from a smartphone. Another feature that no one is talking about is the capability of live streaming. In the Axun C app, there's a dedicated button for live stream. With the preset server, live streaming to YouTube is as simple as copying the stream key and pasting it in the app. So say you need to stream an event, but you don't have access to an ATEM stream switcher, or a computer, or even AC power. Now all you need is an iPhone and a CMO, all battery powered. Now I said a lot of good things about the CMO, but it also has a few downsides. The first one being plastic built over the whole body, excluding the mount. It's not flimsy by any mean, but I'm sure it's gonna get scratched up over time. I do like the color though. Second is that I wish there's a few more mounting options of the Koshu mount, say on the side or something. Because sometimes I still need to mount my wireless microphone here and it runs out of space. Lastly, and perhaps the biggest issue is that your iPhone isn't charged when it's plugged into the CMO. So at the end of a shoot, you'll be walking off with a lot less juice in your smartphone. You might be able to work around it with a lightning signal and power splitter but I don't have one so I can't test it and it's one more thing to carry anyway. But overall, this CMO here is perhaps the most underrated piece of gear that I didn't know I needed. If you do any video work that requires a quick turnaround on your iPhone, 
simple live streaming, or even that you're just looking for a professional yet affordable camera monitor, you might want to look into the Axun Simo. If you have any questions about this product, leave a comment, I'll try to reply them. Thank you for watching this video and as always, remember to like, subscribe and stay safe and I'll see you next time. Peace!